Hey guys, if you saw my recent Anycubic Photon Mono M5S Pro review, you'll have seen that I loved this printer, but it had a couple of firmware problems that bordered on the idiotic. Just to annoy the hell out of you, the plate is then raised to roughly the middle of the Z height, allowing thick, gloopy resin to rain down profusely on the inside of the lid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. This is just lazy programming. Well, good news. Anycubic have been in touch with me and provided a firmware update that users will be able to access through their Anycubic cloud. But do these firmware updates really make a difference? The first thing I did was turn on these wonderfully clever features which I'd previously been forced to turn off. With no resin in the vat, I did a dry run and was delighted to discover that the resin auto detection feature was now working perfectly. With resin in the vat, I repeated the exercise and cringed as the plate sank below the resin. Fortunately, after a few seconds of auto plate alignment, the plate rose out of the tank, but this time not high enough to rain sticky resin everywhere. Again, it plunged beneath the surface where it remained until the heater related time delay had counted down. So yes, it's fixed. The stupidities have been sorted. Well done Anycubic for listening. Previously, the resin residue detection feature had been working overtime and that certainly wasn't happening anymore. We've seen that the resin detection feature worked and whether or not the intelligent release works or whether this is just a gimmicky sales patter, I really can't be sure. But I can say with confidence that the grumbles I had previously about this printer have been silenced and it's printing every bit as well as I could have hoped for. And honestly, it really is a nice printer, producing excellent quality prints. Whilst looking at this model, I've had a few folks already ask what it is and where they can get it. And the answer is, it's my design and it can be freely downloaded from the following locations. For those that like what they see and want a little more, I've also produced a premier version that includes an alternative roof, a basement, a detailed interior with a few helpful props, and additionally, the exact same buildings, but in a rundown condition, a falling apart version, and finally, ruins. The premier does cost a few pounds, but I've kept the price down and you get a lot for your money here. So I hope you'll agree it's worth it. Anyway, that's the end of this short M5S Pro update. Again, well done Anycubic and thanks for watching guys.